Hi, Jamie. Hello, Ellie. What can I do to help you? <laughs> I wonder if you could tell me more about when you played Sandy Solis in the 1948, 1949 and 1951 Tyrone Guthrie productions of the yes. Guthrie Estates. Yes, by all means. Uh, yes, it was very exciting for all the the actors from the various um, theatres in Scotland, the Perth Theatre, the Unity Theatre, the Glasgow Citizens Theatre and the Dundee Rep all got together under the direction of the, the well-known director Tyrone Guthrie, who later became Sir, Di Sir Tyrone Guthrie, and um, the uh, early on people were mm, a wee bit apprehensive because it was such a, a difficult, um, archaic time kind of uh, script. They weren't very sure. However, when the early rehearsal started, it became obvious that people were so excited about it and interested, and although. Uh, the, the, uh, a lot of the language was archaic, it was so accessible and people understood it. And as well as having the message of the hypocrisy of the church being uh, shown at that time, there was a lot of entertainment in it. And uh, so, so Tyrone Guthrie certainly um, used all his skills in... Um, getting the very best performances from all the actors, especially, of course, Duncan McRae, who was the star, and he was absolutely brilliant in two roles. Um, so, um, yeah, it was great. Fantastic. So you would, you would say that this is still relevant as a piece of theatre? I mean, it was in '48. Can, can you see that it's still relevant today, or do you think it's become any more of a heritage piece, or...? Yes, indeed. the 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 message is still um, is still very relevant, indeed, uh, about uh, the um, abuse of privileges that can happen, and that is certainly being shown in uh, in society and in, in government level today. So the message is there. Yes, many messages. What sort of issues arose when you played the role? I mean, you, you said that you had, were worried and the cast were worried about it being archaic. Was language an issue or did it just sort of start to open out to you? or uh, How did you deal with that, with that issue? No, it wasn't an issue because a lot of the plays that uh, in, in the Dundee Rep and in the, Dun the Dundee Rep, Perth Rep, Unity and the Citizen Theatre, they had been used to doing a lot of plays in the Get Scots tongue so that uh, it wasn't a new language to them. They knew the Get Scots tongue and they loved it. Um, all of them could speak uh, perfectly standard English, uh, BBC English, whenever it was necessary for Midsummer Night's Dream or whatever, but <laughs> they were Scots and they loved the language and a drop of a hat they could speak the Get Scots Scottish songs, so it was never, never an issue, and and they loved it. They loved the the gutsy, cogent, brilliant, uh, animated script, and uh, Guthrie was in his element, and uh, it just early on in the in the the rehearsals, it became evident that it was going to be a success, and it was a colossal success. So when it came to delivering the lines, you really went for it in the Scots tongue? Very much so. I, I had a lovely role. I played uh, Sandy Solace, one of the three courtiers, who is, uh, he'd, he was drunk when he came on stage. <laughs> uh, and it was just a joy for me because I've always played um, <clears throat> characters uh, like Sandy Solis. So it's a joy for me. Here are a, a few of the lines from uh, the character. <clears throat> I entered from one of the aisles running down and tumbling over and um, in front of the, the the whole cast I would say, Whoa! Whatsoever sick at thrang! Me thought, he said, I had gone rang! Had I help? I would sing in sang with a rest Merry voice. I have such pleasure in my heart that makes me sing the treble pert. 
Would some good fellow fill the court? Then would my heart rejoice? What is my name? Can you not guess, sirs? Know ye not Sandy Solace? They call it my mother Bonnie Bess that dwelt between the boughs. At twelve year old, she learned it to swive. Thank be thee, great God of life, she made me feathers four or five. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. Solace is actually, Sandy Solace is quite a, um, a vulgar part. Oh, very much. <laughs> How did you cope with that, the vulgarity of, of those scenes that, with the homeliness and danger and, you know, turning the court into a brothel? Yeah. Well, uh, people were all, um, the actors uh, um, didn't seem to be offended in any way, certainly not. Uh, they they, they, they realised it was um, a first class script, a first class play, it was well worthwhile doing and they were they just embraced the, the, uh, the script and the characters without any difficulty at all. Did, with the audience, were there any problems with the audience being offended, or did they similarly? Just that never, that was never an issue. No, there was uh, queues. It was sold out every night for three weeks, and there was queues at the box office, waiting, waiting for returns. It was just a, a, a colossal success. Brilliant. How did you think the audiences were going to react on the first night? I mean. Did you have confidence that, that it would come across well from the rehearsals, or were you concerned about Well, we, we, we hoped, but we weren't sure. We were certain. It, was like, it seemed to me that um, <clears throat> um, Tyrone Guthrie and uh, uh, Mr Honeyman, Dr Honeyman, uh, had, they, they took a chance. They, they weren't very sure. Uh, they, they hoped for the best, but the first night was sensational. So from there on, it just we never, never looked back after the first night. Princess Margaret was there at one time. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, she, she was indeed. <laughs> um, what What do you think uh, was the finest moment of the production in your recollection of it? If you could just pick one. Oh, that's a difficult one. There were so many brilliant performances. Archie, the late Archie Duncan, as um, he he was brilliant as the poor man, no, he was good, he was common will. Right. And the poor man was an Edinburgh actor, he was brilliant. But of course, the, um, oh, there, were, there were so many good performances. Uh, Duncan McCrae, of course, got all the, got most of the plaudits because his, his two characters were just uh, sublime. Just, he was, he was at his very best and he had the audience in the palm of his hand, Duncan McRae, the late Duncan McRae. Died when he was 61 years of age, sadly. But he, yes, he was great. Um, what would you expect from a production of A Satire of the Three Estates today? Would you have any expectations of it, the fact that we're doing it? I would be, I'm looking forward to seeing it, and I have the slightest doubt that it will go well, because the script is there, we have the actors in Scotland to uh, to do the job, and yeah, I'm looking forward. I I know it'll be a big success. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Jamie.